is Monday and I had seven sales on Etsy and they were pretty good sales, a little bit higher dollar items. So I will share those sales with you and I'm gonna pull those items in just a minute. And I've got some shipping supplies I need to pick up. And I also have a living room floor full of stuff that I need to deal with for a flea market. So I'll share that little bit of mess with you and show you some of the items that are gonna go in a flea market. I also have a dining room that is completely full of stuff and you've seen that before, so that's nothing new, but maybe I'll share a glimpse of what it looks like right now. It is only not quite two weeks before the flea market, so my house is a big hot mess right now and that's usually what happens right before the flea market. I gather up as much as I can and it usually ends up all over my living room floor, wherever there's space. So I sold this pelican, copper pelican, I think it is an ashtray. It sold really quickly. I've had this sitting on the shelf for ever, for months and months and months. And I finally just listed it and it sold within a few days. And I'm wondering, did I not list it for enough? <laughs> Why did it sell so quickly? But it's a pretty cool piece, so that sold. And I also sold this set. It is a utensil holder with all the utensils. Pretty cool piece. I picked that up at a yard sale last summer. I think I paid $5 for it. And this, I think, actually Wendell picked this piece up, and I can't remember what he paid for it. I would say probably under $5, five or under, I would say, for this piece. And it's kind of ironic, but I had these pieces all sitting together and they all sold. <laughs> so I sold these sunglasses, it's 1970s sunglasses, these two, pine needle baskets and the mirror as well sold. So these are the baskets and I picked these up at a private pick and I believe I paid $10 each for them. And I got these, I think, I think it was October that I picked these up. So they weren't listed too long and they sold for a really nice profit. These sunglasses I've had for quite a while. I've had them listed for probably about a year, I would say. And I can't remember where I picked them up, probably a yard sale or a thrift store. And I would say, I don't think I would have paid more than five for them. And these I always pick up whenever I find them because they sell really well. I've sold quite a few of these in my shop. And I got this one at a thrift store probably for about five or less, I would say. And I just had one more sale while I was pulling stuff. So and I think it's a brooch because I had a lady from France reach out to me about it. And I'm pretty sure that's what sold. So I'll grab that as well. And I sold a tablecloth and it is in one of these bins. My guess is it's in this bin. So I'm gonna have to pull that out. So luckily, this was on the top. I didn't have to dig too hard for it. So this tablecloth sold, really pretty embroidered tablecloth. And then this just sold just a few minutes ago. And this is going to France. So I need to wrap all these items up and get them ready to ship out. I'm not sure if I have the proper boxes for all of these items, so I may have to get some shipping supplies I got all the packages wrapped up. I had enough shipping supplies, so that's good because I'm now not gonna make it to the shipping supplier because they close at 4.30. And we're already looking, I think it's about four o'clock already, and I still have to go to the post office. And it's super icy out right now, so I don't wanna be driving too much right now. It rained last night. So this is what my living room floor looks like right now. It's not terrible, but this is some items that I just recently thrifted 
And some of these items are going to go in the flea market. Some of them are going to go to my booth. Some are going on Etsy. And my dining room is so full right now that I don't have room for them. So I just left them on the living room floor. <laughs> these are the canisters that I just recently thrifted and I got them really nice and clean. There is some scratching on them, but all the stickiness came off. So they cleaned up really nice. So I'm gonna bring those to the flea market. This piece I'm gonna to bring to my booth. I just found this vintage t-shirt. I've been looking for t-shirts, like band shirts or just retro vintage t-shirts. And I found this one and it doesn't have a tag, but it looks like it is an older one. You can still purchase this shirt online, brand new, but I think this one's older and it says free Winona. <laughs> is it Winona or Winona? Winona, free Winona. So I just thought that was kind of funny. And then the sewing boxes I just thrifted, those are gonna to go to the flea market. Um, I just picked this up at Value Village and I had just recently picked up a similar print by the same, the same artist. And this one I thrifted a week later and I believe they were probably a set and got separated. So now I have the set. I have one listed already in my Etsy shop. So I'm gonna list this one in my shop and I'm gonna list this towel in my shop as well. And I just picked this up and it is in really nice condition. It's got everything in it. It's nice that it's copper. Copper is really popular right now. It's got all the pieces in it and it looks like it's like never been used. So I'm probably going to list that in my Etsy shop. I did sell one very similar in my Etsy shop not that long ago. So I think I will put this one in there as well. And then these Holdleton Swans, I just picked those up at a thrift store for $7 each. And I'm going to put them, list them together in my Etsy shop. And then the cats I just thrifted. And those are going to go to the flea market. If they don't sell, I will bring them to my booth and some lamps. I just thrifted this one a couple days ago. I need to find a shade for it, as well as that wood one. I need a shade for that one. I did find a shade for this one, and I think it works pretty good. And some books. Wendell found that <laughs> really funny squirrel cookie jar, and that's going to the flea market. Look at its eyes, it's hilarious. And this pillow. I just picked this up and I just thought it was really fun. It's definitely 1980s or 90s, I would say, but I thought it had a really nice pattern on it. I like one side has bears and the other side has white tailed deer. It's got little tassels on it. This would be really nice in a farmhouse or a cabin. And then these I picked up recently. And I think I'm gonna hold on to these. I might use these in my own home. I really like the pattern on them. So if I don't use them, I will sell them. I picked up a really unattractive tapestry. <laughs> and the reason I got it was I needed this wooden dowel for a mushroom latch hook. And I have it in my dining room, I'll show you it. But I need to get it cut down because I only need about probably half of this dowel for the latch hook. So I got that just for the latch hook because I'm going to list that on Etsy. I think it'll do really well on there. And the, this is going to go, I think I'll bring this, I actually might put this on Etsy. I think it'll do better on Etsy. And lots of books. Some will go to the flea market, some my booth. This one is really cool. I could not find the date, but I believe it's 1950s, and it is the Book of Beauty. I looked everywhere and just could not find a date anywhere, but it's definitely, I would say, 1950s. And it's just all a Book of Beauty. It's just a fun book. I'll probably bring this one to my booth, I would think. It would do well there. I'd say 1950s, what do you think? Could be 60s, but I think, I don't know, it looks, looks 50s to me. And 
um, children's book. Really nice children's book. Making dollhouse accessories. And the Hollywood Goddess. That one, I love coffee table books. That one might go to the flea market. If not, it'll go in my booth. Some more books that I picked up. Nobody's Boy. This one's a really old one. I think it's 1930s, I think. What is this? Just a piece of paper someone had as a, a bookmark. It's a pretty piece of vintage paper. And just more books. I always pick up books when I find them for a good price. I can sell them in my booth, sell them at the flea market, or just keep them for myself. <laughs> I grabbed these really nice wool mitts. They're really nicely made. So I thought I would bring those to the flea market. And these, this I think I'll probably bring to the flea market. These, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna put these on Etsy. I think they'll do better on Etsy. So I'm just going through all these items, figuring out what I'm gonna put in the flea market, then I'm gonna have to price it all. And then anything that I'm gonna put in on Etsy, I'll bring that upstairs and photograph it, and put it away. So it's a little bit of a hot mess. I've also got this wool blanket. I'll probably bring that to the flea market as well. And that is my dining room. <laughs> it pretty much always looks like this. Not quite as bad, but it's 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 pretty full of stuff. <laughs> um, I'm hoping soon, in the next three months, we will find a house with a full basement and a garage. We are looking right now for a new house to move into with more space. We both need more space and Wendell would really like a garage. So we're looking right now for that. So far we have not found one that suits all our needs, but a lot of this stuff is going to my booth. Some things will go to the flea market and some things will go on Etsy. This is the mushroom latch hook that I found really fun. It didn't have the dowel, so I just have to cut that one down so I can list it on Etsy, but it's really long. And I thought it would do well on Etsy because of the mushrooms. And my table full of stuff just, they're really, I mean, there's a little bit of method to this madness, but uh, I don't know. Once we get through the flea market, it will definitely be better. So this stuff is amazing. It is a miracle worker. And I use this on my wood to polish and condition the wood. And it does an amazing job. Howard Feed and Wax. This is not sponsored, but I highly recommend it. So I will probably use it on here. Well, I will definitely use it on here, but you can see there's some wear on here. I might give it a light sand and then I'll wax it with that Howard Feed and Wax and it'll look amazing. So I'll show you what that looks like. I'll show you when I'm finished what it looks like eventually. I don't know if it'll be in this video, but somewhere down the line, I'll show you how it looks when I'm done the difference. It's really great stuff. Highly recommend. Well, the roads are not terrible. They're a little bit icy, but not as bad as I thought they would be. Just gotta drive slow. <laughs> so I'm gonna go to this shopper's drug mart and drop off these packages there because the main post office is closed. groceries to pick up. There's a, a grocery store right next door. So I'm going to run in there and grab a few things that I need. Definitely need some more coffee. I'm going to head into No Frills. Oh, 
basket. Dark roast. I'm gonna grab two of these. It's not on sale, but I always like to grab two at two at a time, and I don't have to buy it as much. Um, I don't think there's anything else that I really need, so I'm gonna check out here. I'm now at the Salvation Army and it's only been a couple days since I've been here, but they're always restocking. Look at the parking lot. It's like a skating rink. What's on the new cart? Probably a hobbyist piece. Yeah, Arnell's. Somebody made this in 1976. It's got a fun glaze on it. Lots of plant pots. I don't need them though. <laughs> They're nice. This is a nice one. $10. Back away from the plant pots. <laughs> Look at those lamps, they're huge. $59.99, I think for the, yeah, the pair. These are massive, wow. In really nice shape. Definitely don't have room for those. <laughs> you saw my house, there is no room for those lamps. There's still a few masks left here. Massive brass sailboat for $29.99. There's a nice carved wood eagle, but the wing is chipped. Well, it is day two of this vlog, and that is because I did not find any hard goods in Salvation Army last night. And so I decided to look through the clothing and see if I could find some vintage clothing. And I need 100% focus when I'm looking for clothing and two hands. So I put my phone away and I did find a few pieces of vintage clothing. So I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm going to show you what I got. And I might do a little try on of a few of the outfits. Most of the clothing is a little bit too big for me. I bought it all for resale, so it might not look perfect in the try-on, but I will share a couple of outfits and why I purchased the clothing that I purchased. Those are the sheets that I just purchased from the thrift store in Lanigan. I just washed them up and made my bed and I really like them. I love floral sheets on my bed. I think they're so pretty. So this is the pile of clothes that I purchased. And a lot of these are kind of 90s style, I think. A little bit of 70s in here, but mostly 90s and maybe maybe some 80s as well. But I grabbed this sleeveless jean jacket. And these are really popular right now. And I'm pretty sure this is vintage. It looks vintage to me. Um, probably 1990s, I'm thinking. And it's got the star copper star buttons. I haven't done any research on this brand, so I don't know much about it, but I just thought it was a really cute little jean jacket. And 
gonna grab this little top and it's not that old. It is just garage clothing, but I really like the stripes. It's a little bit of a crop top, not really, like it's not a super short one. That's why I think it's a little bit older because the tops nowadays are about half this size. <laughs> so this one I just thought was very kind of a retro looking top and it actually fits me. I tried it on and it fits me, so I might keep it. And then this one, I don't know how old this one is. It does say Vans, um, but it's got that really kind of 90s retro checkerboard Vans on the front. And it's a crop top, so I just thought that was really cute. Same with this one. I don't know how old it is. It's got a vintage style to it. And it says Vans on the front. Vans is very popular right now. The shoes are very popular. I grab this wool, long wool skirt. The tag says, um, the fashion place, Sears. It is made in Canada, so it's definitely vintage. It's got the metal zipper. So I'm thinking this is probably about maybe 80s. Looks like 1980s to me. This one is Tommy Hilfiger, little jean skirt. So that one's definitely retro vintage. This one, once again, the checkerboard pattern. It is a Ricky's skirt, but I think it is an older, definitely older retro vintage. This one I just thought was really cute, flowy. It is lined, polka dots on it. I don't know, Lubin, I don't know anything about Lubin, but this one was made in Canada. So it is older. And then this one has the hound's tooth on it. Mac and Liam, pretty sure that's vintage. Uh, made in Canada, yeah. And then a long leather skirt. Very 80s, 90s. Does not have a tag that I could see, unless there's one on the inside, I don't know, I didn't see a tag. It is lined and it has pockets, which is super cool. It's just a little bit too big for me, otherwise I would probably keep it for myself if it fit me. So those are the clothes that I found. Mostly kind of retro vintage, a little bit of 80s and 90s, maybe early 2000s. And I'm gonna do a little clothing try on of a few of these pieces. Like I said, they are a little bit big for me, so I'm gonna do my best to improvise and show you just a couple outfits. So that is the cute little sleeveless jean jacket. I just threw it over top of what I was already wearing, which is just a black and white Beatles t-shirt. I bought this as well, I bought it for myself. And I'm just wearing leggings and I threw on some suede boots. I think these are probably from the 80s, 70s or 80s, just so that I wouldn't be in my sock feet <laughs> to complete the outfit. So that is outfit number one, really cute little jacket. Tempted to keep it for myself but I will probably never wear it. So here is outfit number two with a long black leather skirt. Really cute. It's got pockets. How awesome is that? So I just changed out a couple pieces, put on a pair of heels instead of boots, and now it's a little bit more sophisticated looking. The skirt is amazing. It is so versatile. Outfit number four is the black and white checkerboard skirt. 
I added the beetle shirt back and put on some army boots. I think that's a pretty fun look. So outfit number five is the black and white checkered skirt again. And I took off the beetle shirt, put some heels on and added a cute little red and black checkered sweater. And even though they're two different patterns, I think they work perfectly fine together. I don't know, what do you think? So this is outfit number six, I think. I'm losing track. And this is the black and white gingham skirt, not to be mistaken with the black and white checkered skirt. This one is more of a pencil skirt and I am holding on to it so that it fits me because it should fit like a pencil skirt. So I paired it with a turtleneck, black turtleneck, a pair of heels and added a necklace. So my next outfit is the long gray wool skirt. I paired it with the black turtleneck and the necklace and added the black suede boots. So I've got the same long wool gray skirt and I paired it with a cream colored vintage sweater and some vintage camel colored boots and matching belt and changed up my earrings and necklace. And it's a completely different look. So my last look is this vintage Italian jacket and I bought it because I thought I was gonna resell it and then I tried it on and decided that I loved it. So I'm gonna keep it and it fits me perfect. So I paired it with the Beatles t-shirt a pair of vintage style jeans and a pair of Converse sneakers. And in one second, I'll show you a little bit different look. I took the Beatles shirt off, added a pair of heels, and now I've got a little bit more of a dressier, but still casual look. And I absolutely love this jacket. It's definitely going to be a staple in my wardrobe. So I'm going to end the video here because I have a mess of clothes to clean up and I've got lots of listing and editing to do. So thank you so much for joining me. Let me know what your favorite outfit was. If you enjoyed this, maybe I'll do it again sometime. And thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.